Well, hello there, and welcome to my channel. My name is Zion Aesthetic, and today I really, 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 really want to review the new Matte Moselle lipsticks from Fenty Beauty. These look really, 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 really cool, really pretty. Oh, I just cannot wait to dive into them. I really, really love Fenty Beauty. I really enjoy every product that I've gotten so far from Fenty Beauty. Honestly, most of my Fenty Beauty products are right up there in my top favorites. And so when I saw that Rihanna, AKA Fenty Beauty, was going to release lipsticks, I got really, really, really excited because I love lipsticks. I'm definitely sort of a lipstick collector. And just the like idea behind these and the, the way that they look, the shape of them, and all of the different beautiful shades that she had in this range just really piqued my interest. And so I knew I had to at least pick up a couple so that I could try them on for you guys, see how they work, see if they, you know, sort of get my recommendation or not. So this is what the packaging looks like when you first get the lipsticks. They are very, very small, much smaller than I was anticipating. I picked up two shades here. I have Freckle Fiesta, which is by far, in my opinion, the most beautiful shade in the line. Keep in mind that my opinion is, is my opinion. Everyone's opinions are going to be different. And then the other shade I got is a beautiful nude called Up To No Good. So I am going to apply both of these on my lips, sort of do a lip swatch for you guys. I'm going to talk about the formula, you know, just do a quick little try on review sort of thing. So yeah, let's get started. I think I'm first going to go into up to no good just because I feel like that one will be easier oh my god I'm throwing things just because I feel like that one will be easier to get on wipe off you know it'll be a little bit more forgiving maybe than freckle fiesta so once you open the lipsticks out of the package this is what the actual packaging looks like it's honestly really 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 pretty it's sort of like this it's plastic but it looks like it's like a chrome metal it's silver, but almost like a little bit of rose gold, very, very slightly. And then when you open it up, upside down apparently, this is what the inside looks like. And then you can just put it up like a normal lipstick, but it is very, very, very small. It definitely isn't as big as a normal size lipstick or even really as big as my lips. So it's going to be really interesting for me to try and put this on. I'm really excited to see if it's like amazing, the size and shape of it, or if it's like more of a hassle, you know? So I'm going to just wipe off this gloss that I have real quick, apply some lip liner, and then start putting up to no good on my lips. Okay, immediately right off the bat, it's very, very pigmented and very creamy. I know that it is a matte lipstick, but it feels so soft and creamy and almost like velvety. Uh, definitely not like as matte as you would think of when you think of matte lipstick, like the MAC matte lipsticks, for instance, are very, very sort of dry and tug at your lips a little bit when you apply them. There is definitely zero tug with this product. It just glides around which is really awesome very comfortable feeling but i just also want to see how long term it is you know or how long lasting it is because i do know obviously that matte products tend to last longer on the lips and while this is called matte it just doesn't feel like a matte when you apply it so honestly when i first saw this and saw the size of this I was really worried that I would have a lot of trouble applying it on my lips because it's just such a different shape than any lip product that I've used that I can remember using anyway um, but I'm actually finding that I'm having a really really easy time applying it I think just because it's such a precise circle I can really line up the edges like that with the edge of my lip and it just like, it's almost like a two-in-one lipstick slash lip pencil because I'm really able to trace the edge of my lip with this, which is awesome. 
Like, I'm honestly really excited about that. All right. So that shade is fully on. That is what Up To No Good looks like on me. It's honestly kind of like the perfect nude, I think. It's very like terracotta nude. Almost slightly orange too, or like, I don't know, like uh, creamsicle. You know, it's like that milky sort of creamy orange. But I am honestly so not mad at this. The only thing that I would say is it still hasn't dried down to a matte. I've had it on for about a minute now, and so I, I'm gonna give it a little bit more time, see if it fully dries down. But as of right now, it is definitely still very slidey. I don't think that's the right word. Very slippery on the lips. And um, a minute ago, I did try to clean up the lower edge just with my finger, and I ended up smearing the lipstick down below my lips. So you do have to be careful with that. It does appear matte though. Like it's, I'm not having any of the matte lipstick sensations that I normally do, but just looking at it, it is definitely a very matte sort of finish. And honestly, I'm kind of living. Nudes are easy. Now we gotta try Feckle, Feckle, Freckle a Fiesta, which is, it's not a nude, but I mean, it's also not like blue or green or purple. Maybe I should have gotten a crazy color just to like try it so that I could compare it against the shades that I do have. But I just knew that it wouldn't look good on me. And also I knew that it wouldn't look good on me. So I ended up just getting these two shades. And so far this one is amazing. It is drying down a little bit as I'm talking to you guys. So I am going to let this sit just for another, say, two minutes, and then I will get back to you, and then we will hop over into Freckle Fiesta and see if that one treats me as well as Up To No Good did. You could just like mixed the Jeopardy song in a different song. Okay, so I have waited about a minute and a half, two minutes, and it definitely has dried down. It is still not fully matte feeling. You can still sort of feel the product sliding around as you, you know, move your lips together, but it is very comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's just gonna slide everywhere anymore like it used to. It's a little bit more sort of tacky. It's definitely very comfortable, and I would have to say my favorite, favorite, favorite part about the lipstick is the finish. Like, it is a perfect matte, but with a tiny bit of like satin in it. There's there's no shimmer, there's no glitter, but it's also not fully, fully mattified either. And I think it's really flattering for that reason. Now, let's try on Freckle Fiesta. This is the one I'm really, really excited about. All right, here is Freckle Fiesta. This one, as you can see comparatively, is a lot darker. It's like a an orangey brick nude terracotta thing. I don't know, but it looks damn beautiful. So I am going to put this on. That's one full swipe. Damn, the pigment in these, it's just like packed. And that color is so pretty. Oh. Okay, these are so fun to apply. Both the shape, making it really easy, like I said earlier, to sort of line your lips with this product, but also just how pigmented and like creamy and smooth it is, is so satisfying to just like, boom, perfect. Like, oh, I love it. I'm getting so excited right now. So while this one still wasn't very bad to apply, it definitely wasn't the ride in the park that the first shade was. Um, a big part of that could also be just because the first shade is very nude and so it's a lot more forgiving. But this one, I definitely did have a few problems applying. First off, the top lip is, is pretty easy to get that nice edge like I was talking about, but the bottom lip, the shape is very awkward to try and get like the lower corners of your bottom lip 
And so I like definitely messed up down here and then tried to fix it and then ended up messing it up again. And I mean, that that could be something that I get used to. I could get used to the shape and it would become a little bit easier for me. But just something I noticed for first time application, the color is beautiful. Rubbing my lips together, I can tell that it definitely has the same formula as the first one. Um, I think it might just be the pigment in it that is that is giving me that slightly varied experience. Or maybe it's just that, like, I suck. <laughs> but I did try to fix it a couple times, and I definitely was having more issues than I have with standard lipstick or just applying lipstick in general. Um, but definitely very beautiful, very comfortable still. This one has that same sort of slide around and then slowly dry down to a more matte finish. And yeah, I'm honestly so into this color. I'm so into both of these colors. They were both beautiful. You guys should see, I will link down below the like page with all the colors of the Match Mousel lipsticks. They have some gorgeous colors, especially if you're like sort of someone who likes to step out of the the ballpark or whatever that expression is and wear something that's very bright and colorful or just like very unique. Definitely check it out because she has some very, very unique shades. And even, I was thinking this as I was applying this shade, both of these shades, while not being the most like unique in the way that it's like, oh, that's blue, rainbow, sparkle. Like it wasn't that, it was definitely more similar shades than what we're used to seeing, but I've never seen either of these shades before. Like the the nude, the up to no good, was just a very unique nude. Like it was very, very different for a nude. And then Freckle Fiesta, this one, I have a couple other lip shades that are similar to this, but I've never seen anything that is exactly this shade. And for that and, and for the rest of her line, you can really see that she took a lot of care into curating these shades that are going to be flattering or be extremely interesting, but also very unique, like just different, I guess it's a slightly different undertone. It just looks so beautiful. I don't know. I'm, I'm for sure into these. There are, as I've said, a couple ups and downs that I had along the way, but they're definitely going to become staples in my collection, I think, especially up to no good, because that one I can just throw on maybe with a slightly darker lip liner and just like rock out. Yeah, so I'm very excited about these. I'm glad they're so creamy and so smooth. I was a little bit worried because usually when lipsticks are advertised as like matte lipsticks, they just like tug on the lips a little bit. It's hard to get them to be comfortable and to sit right and blah, blah, blah. But then also on the other end of things, when you get too creamy, they don't stay. They're not long lasting at all. And so I think that Rihanna did a good job at sort of finding the best of both worlds and trying to fuse them together into the Matte Mousel lipsticks. I'm gonna say definitely has my recommendation and definitely go check out those colors. Cause they're, like I said, are some amazing, amazing colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this quick little review of the brand new Matte Moussel lipsticks. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, I would love to hear what shades out of this collection you guys are the most excited about down in the comments because when I was looking through all the shades, there's just so many different ones and I feel like so many different people are going to be drawn towards different shades in this collection. Also, if you are interested in following me anywhere else on the internet, I do have a bunch of social media accounts that I use. Uh, I will have those all linked down in the description down below. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world, and I hope to catch you on the next video. Bye!